Apart is a Belgium-based manufacturer focusing on fixed installed commercial and residential audio products for speech and both background and foreground music in small and medium-sized applications. Over the last years, our distributors and their customers have been asking for a cost-effective, easy-to-install and easy-to-use solution for selective paging and music distribution in more than four zones. With the existing Zone 4, our projects were limited to four output zones only. A lot of products on the market can fulfill the needs of customers and they can do much more. Virtually anything is possible with the modern technologies. Most times these wonder machines are overkill and the attached price tag and complexity is much too high. With that in mind, we went to the drawing board and started to develop a system that can fulfill 80% of the needs in small and medium-sized fixed install audio applications like fitness centers, office buildings, supermarkets, spa and health clubs, sport clubs, hotels, congress centers and many others. In fact, the applications for this device are only limited by the creativity of the integrator. On top of that, we wanted the system to be budget-friendly and it had to have those typical and unique APART features on board. After four many years of engineering and developing in our headquarters in Belgium, we are proud to present Audio Control 12.8. It is a fixed architecture audio matrix with 12 audio inputs and 8 audio outputs. Furthermore, Audio Control has built-in paging and control processing possibilities. Unique with the Audio Control 12.8 is that the unit functions out of the box without the need for any programming. You then have five stereo line inputs and a paging microphone available for four stereo output zones. In this case, no signal processing is applied. Even more unique is that the Audio Control graphical installer interface has an installer mode where the installer is able to configure the inputs and outputs and change some basic audio settings like bass, mid and treble tone control. In the expert mode, the expert level certified programmer can configure all the EQ and dynamics, can customize the wall controls and paging stations and has access to the macro programming functionality. Of course, audio control is capable of so much more. Allow me to take you through the features of the system. Audio control 12.8 has 12 audio inputs and on the front panel you have a clear indication of which of the inputs are active. Six of the 12 inputs are balanced inputs, connected via Euroblock. All balanced inputs have an adjustable 4-step analog gain preamplifier available to ensure an optimized gain structure before entering the DSP. 24 volt phantom power is also available for condenser mics. On top of the 12 inputs, a stereo SPDIF input is available via an RCA connector at the rear panel. A total of 8 audio outputs are available. Here as well you have a clear indication on the front panel of which outputs have a signal present. All the audio outputs are unbalanced via RCA connectors on the rear panel. The other 6 inputs are unbalanced via RCA connectors, ideal for music sources. Up to 120 digital paging stations can be connected to an audio control 12.8. All data communication and audio goes over a standard CAT5 cable. In case you want to hook up more than 8 stations, an external power supply for every 8 station is required. Up to 8 digital wall control panels can be connected to an audio control 12.8. Power and data goes over a 2-wire connection. Each panel can be programmed and assigned to any output zone in the system. In addition to excellent audio processing, Audio Control also has excellent control possibilities via the two rear-mounted serial ports. These allow for control of Audio Control itself from APART NetKit devices or a touch panel control system. If you are not using the out-of-the-box configuration, the Audio Control system is configured via the PC-based GUI graphical installer interface software. A simple serial connection from your PC to the front panel serial port of the audio control is required. The graphical installer interface can be operated in installer mode and in expert mode. In the installer mode, the audio control is user-friendly enough to be installed by an untrained person and limited settings can be adjusted. 
In the expert mode you have full access to all the settings. In order to have access to the expert mode, the integrator, installer or engineer has to succeed in the expert level certification program. With this tutorial movie and the technical sheet at hand, this expert level certification program will be a walk in the park. We are convinced this is the best and only way to guarantee a perfect solution that will blow the end customer away. Installations that have been made by expert level certified installers can only be altered by people with expert mode access, thus protecting the project. The first step in setting up a system is to configure how many inputs and outputs you need and their type. This is done in the global config screen of the GUI. On the input side you can easily turn two mono inputs into a stereo input by clicking the link button. Each input then needs to be configured to be a music source or a microphone mix signal. Labeling of any active inputs is mandatory as this is used throughout the program and on the wall panels, thus making the life of the end user a lot easier. In any case, CD is probably a lot clearer to him than just input 1. Again via the GUI, it is very easy and intuitive to configure exactly the output type you want. You can choose to have mono, stereo, mono crossover, stereo crossover or 2.1 zone configured. Labeling of the output zones is mandatory again, to make the end user's life as easy as possible. Adding an extra output zone is very easy by the click of a button. The graphical installer interface will always show you how many outputs you still have available. If there are only three outputs available, the stereo crossover option will no longer be displayed. Once your inputs and outputs have been configured, you can upload them into the audio control by clicking the Upload to Audio Control 12.8 button. At this point your PC configuration is uploaded to the device. After the synchronization is complete, any changes you make in the GUI are performed live in the audio control device. Depending on your access level, installer or expert, you will have limited access or full DSP access. Once you have made your global configuration, you can then work on the input and output processing and signal levels. Via the audio input screen you can easily decide in which zones each of the inputs will be available. Via the drop down menu you can select the input you want to configure. At any time you can also change the label of the selected input via the edit button next to the input select drop down. On the balanced inputs 1 to 6 you have an analog trim with 4 positions which allows the signal to be amplified or attenuated before the analog to digital converter. This allows the use of a mic or line level signal. A digital trim is also available so that all inputs can be corrected to be the same level. You can also apply the 24 volt phantom power if required. On the unbalanced inputs 7 to 12, you only have a digital trim available. All channels configured as a stereo input have a digital trim link which can be defeated if required. With the VU meter you always have a clear indication of the level. In the graphic at the bottom of the screen you always have a clear view on where you are working in the signal path. Any changes in signal level can be seen on the VU meters. In the input EQ you have three bands available. For each of the bands you can choose what kind of filter you need. The available types are high pass filter, low pass filter, peak, high shelf and low shelf. For each type of the EQ, you have adjustment of the gain and frequency and the Q factor where applicable. With the EQ on off buttons, you can easily hear the difference in sound with or without the EQ band or the total EQ. A graph always shows you the total EQ curve being applied to the input signal. In case you want to use some extra dynamics, you need to go to the dynamic screen. You have the choice between compressor, limiter, gate, ALC or compressor limiter and all variables can be adjusted as required. Dynamics are particularly useful for microphone adjustment or for example to normalize the volume of your line inputs. Again a graph shows you exactly the type of dynamics being applied. 
Once all your input adjustments have been made, you can start to work on the outputs by clicking the Audio Outputs button. For each output zone, you have the ability to choose exactly what input signals are fed to the zone output and how they are mixed together. A handy block diagram at the bottom of the screen shows you how the signals are combined. Via the drop-down menu, you can choose which of the output zones you want to adjust. At any time, you can also change the label of the selected output via the Edit button next to the Output Select drop-down. In the Music Source section, you have a fader and source selector so you can easily choose the required music source and adjust its level relative to the mix mix. Each input channel can be muted via the On Mute button. The LEDs give you a clear indication when a signal is present. The volume of each of the microphones can be adjusted individually and are then mixed together via the Mic Mix level fader. The Zone Master volume controls the overall volume of your microphone mix and music source to the zone output. The volume of the paging mic and the built-in programmable chime can be adjusted separately. The Paging Master fader controls the volume fed to the zone output. Keep in mind that the Paging Master functions independently from the Zone Master. This allows paging to be active in a zone without background music, for example. The output trim allows you to adjust the level of the output between minus 12 and plus 6 dB, useful for balancing the signal between staggered speakers, for example. And the crossover allows you to implement a high or low pass filter at the desired frequency and roll off slope. Four EQ bands are available on each output. If, however, you have used the crossover, one or more EQ bands will be eliminated, depending on the slope you have applied for the crossover. The EQ on the output allows you to deal with difficult room acoustics and allows you to achieve exactly the intelligibility and dynamic sound you had in mind. The limiter on the output avoids clipping of your amplifiers and protects your sound system and venue license. You have the choice between the standard limiter or an optimized A-part limiter with integrated compressor. This slim and elegant wall control can be seamlessly integrated into any interior. It has a wide backlit LCD display with two lines of 12 characters each. When used in the out-of-the-box format, the DWAC allows you to select the source and control the master volume in the zone. DWAC is probably the easiest wall control on the market to install. The connection to the Audio Control 12.8 is made by just two wires and even the polarity doesn't matter. You can connect a total of 8 wall controls to the unit. In the expert level, all buttons of the DWAC can be programmed to do exactly what you want. You can, if you want, have all 8 panels active in the same zone. On each wall panel you can display up to 8 menu functions. The two most often selected functions certainly are Master Level and Source Selection, but Music Level, Mic Mix Level, Paging Master and Macro Recall are also available. The last step is to assign the zone you want to control with this wall control. In this way one panel can control a variety of functions in different zones. The configuration is sent to the wall control via the Audio Control Unit by clicking the Upload button. The DMIC-12 paging microphone allows selective or all-call paging plus control of any function from within the audio control or an external device. Via the graphical installer interface, you are able to program the functionality of the paging stations. Any of the 12 buttons on the paging station can be assigned to select a zone, a group of zones or recall a macro. The all-call or selective paging buttons can be set to have either a push-to-talk or latching action. The priority level of the paging microphone can be set from 1, highest, to 7, the lowest. In this way, a hierarchy of paging microphones can be set up. The configuration is sent to the paging stations via the audio control unit by clicking the upload button. When using multiple DMIC-12 paging microphones, programming of the functions the microphone will have is based on the serial number of the microphone. This can be selected by a drop-down menu. Input 12 of the audio control unit is used to route the audio from a single or multiple digital paging microphones. When a paging function is selected to a zone, any background music will be muted. 
a chime will be heard in the zone and the paging mic will then be live. If more buttons are required, a DMIC 12S can be added to a DMIC 12 to give 12 further programmable buttons. For simple paging applications, a DMIC 1 can be used to always make an all call or programmed zone group call. All in all, the DMIC 12, DMIC 12S, DMIC 1 and DWAC user interface give you excellent options for your applications. A useful function in a multi-zone system is to be able to listen in on any output via a local monitor speaker. This is possible by opening the monitor window. You can then select which audio output will feed your monitor speaker and then select the source by choosing any input or output audio signal in the main window. It is also possible to select a signal to be pre or post the EQ and dynamics. An incredibly useful function is the RS232 log, available in the monitor window. When open, this displays all of the RS232 communications to and from your PC and the audio control unit. Any data can also be copied to the clipboard and pasted into the programming software of your selected touch panel control software. Simple and no more trawling through manuals. Once your configuration is complete, you may need to produce a connection diagram. This is of course easily available with audio control. Go to the export import menu and click connection diagram. You are then given a full connection diagram which can be printed or copied to your clipboard, allowing easy integration with your tender offer or as build file. Also in this screen is the ability to export a configuration file to your PC and to upload a configuration file directly to the audio control unit. It should be noted that a configuration file created by an expert level programmer can be uploaded into the audio control by someone with installer level access. The info screen allows you to inspect some key details of the system you are using, for example the hardware version, serial number and firmware of the device being used and the PC software version. This screen is also where an expert level certified programmer can enter their expert code and choose to store this on the PC itself for automatic use in the future. Once in expert mode, the configuration can be totally protected with the lock code. It should be noted that the small green or red light next to the info button indicates if an audio control is connected or not. Of course, one of the main purposes of audio control is detailed audio processing. However, the product has been designed from the ground up with advanced control possibilities built in. As an example, the paging microphone is of course used for zone paging, but it can also be used to control the music volume, music source selection, control the CD player and power on a projector. All of these functions are possible via the advanced macro possibilities in the audio control GUI. The macro recorder takes your mouse and keyboard actions and stores them to be replayed later triggered from a button push on the paging microphone. In a similar way, an RS-232 string can be entered which will be sent to the required device, triggered by a button push on the paging microphone. In addition, a macro can be triggered from a button on a DMIC 12S, a DMIC wall panel or from an incoming serial command. A possible use of this would be to mute the music and unmute the microphone. Needless to say, all functions of audio control can be controlled via an external device that can produce serial commands. These include touch panel control systems, but also the APART NetKit, which allows a perfect cost-effective iPad or Android device control system to be produced. Hopefully this tutorial has been useful. Please visit the APART website for further information or to access the expert level certification program.